Hello, football fans. Brad Nessler here, along with Kirk Herbstreet in the booth and Aaron Andrews on the sidelines. Welcome to tonight's game, brought to you by ESPN and EA Sports. This should be a good one between the Duke Blue Devils and the Wolfpack of North Carolina State. We're right next to the state fairgrounds at Carter-Finley Stadium, where these two teams are poised to do battle. Not the best conditions here tonight. The forecast calls for more rain. It's still early in the season, but these two ACC teams are ready to go. For Duke, they've got a linebacker who's a force to be reckoned with. I can't wait to see how he performs against a real top-notch tailback. It should be a test of his run-stopping ability. It's time for the coin toss, and it's a good opportunity to let you know that our game is brought to you by Reese's Peanut Butter Cups, the perfect combination of chocolate and peanut butter. Colbert Wade is lined up and just about ready to send this one off as we're ready to get this game underway. Nelson takes it from the six. He gets out to about the 25-yard line. The first drive of the game about to get underway as the quarterback leads his team out. They'll get the ball here at the 25-yard line. Fakes the handoff. Defense coming. Loose football. And they will keep the drive alive by recovering their own fumble. From their own 27-yard line, it's second down. Shaw up the gut. He fights forward to about the 30. A couple, maybe three yards on that run. That was a great hit by the defender. He just drove the ball carrier right to the ground. Third and five situation. Hill steps back to pass. A junior makes the catch. And there's a penalty on the play. Let's see who it's on. Holding on the offense. They'll give this one another try after the flag. And on third down, too. That's when you don't want those kind of things to happen. So now it's an even tougher situation after the penalty. Third and 15. And it's the senior. The offense didn't appear to be in sync on that series. It did a pretty good job of not letting the offense get much going on that possession. It's fourth down. Looks like they're going to punt it away here. Coker awaits the snap. Signals for a fair catch. Fair catch made at the 32-yard line. They'll start at the 32. Here's the halfback. Good outside run there. McLaurin picks up about seven yards there after getting the ball in the misdirection. It's second and three. Ball on their own 39. And 
a stop behind the line. I'm not sure if they thought about that one too much or not, but either way, the result wasn't very good. From their own 35-yard line, third down. He's to the 40. He's tackled at about the 49. She had a couple of freight trains coming at him, but when they blitzed, it created a hole in the coverage. And they took advantage of it. It's first and 10. McLaurin gets a ball left side. Tackle made at the 46-yard line. And the halfback carries for a pickup of three. And he took a shot on that play, Brad. It looks like his head might be still ringing a little bit. There's just so much going on down there in the trenches. It's really impressive to see a guy get off his block and perfectly time the quarterback's release. He's at the 40. Brought down right around the 28-yard line. I love the blitz, but the quarterback did a really good job of seeing it and reading it, and then standing tall in the pocket to find his man for the first. First and ten. Ball on the 28. He scrambled. Rose, and it's knocked away. You know, that actually might have been a break for the offense. Sometimes tip passes can linger in the air and get picked off. So it's second and ten. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Hands it to the back. Nice gain as he works the right side. On the run. Call it a gain of seven yards. That makes it third and three. We're at play number nine of this current drive. Third down. They hand it off. And he's taken down at about the 11. How about that conversion on third down? Good push here by the guys up front, and they are really starting to work hard in the trenches. First down, 10 yards to go. This is the 10th play of this drive. They line up in the red zone for the first time today. Back to pass. Throws to the halfback, touchdown! They decided to go to the running back on that touchdown pass. Just a nice job by the quarterback of showing great patience here, going through his progressions, finally finding the back to get into the end zone. And he converts the extra point. And here's our drive summary. Wade gets set to kick this one away. it out to maybe the 29-yard line. Let's see how the offense rebounds after fumbling on their last possession. It may be early, but don't think the coaches haven't spent a lot of time reminding these guys how important it is to take care of the football. Hill drops back to pass. Incomplete pass. Camped at the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. Second down, 10 to go. Hill, back to pass. 
gets the first down catch. And he's tackled at the 46. Excellent execution on one side of the ball that time. And it looks to me like the defense was in a little state of confusion. Let's see if they can pull themselves together. around the 38 yard line. Boy, that pass wasn't exactly on target, but he's able to go up and make a nice catch. So that nets him about eight yards there on a really spectacular catch. It's second and two, ball on the 38 yard line. Runs outside for a nice game. Gets the job done and picks up the first down. From the 33-yard line, it's first down. Gets the ball here and brought down to the backfield. Drop back a yard. That'll bring up second and 11. It's second down and 11 to go. Shaw up the gun. He was never able to get ahead of steam on that carry. A long ways yet to go, but at the end of one, our score, Duke, seven, North Carolina State, nothing. Third down, and they need to get it to the 23. Drops back to pass. Their legs are down, and this one might be on the offense. Holding on the offense. You know what happened there? The offensive line was so focused on picking up the blitz, they forgot about blocking the defensive lineman. Fourth down, here comes the punter looking to boot this one away. Fielded at the nine. He goes out of bounds at the 19. The offense really came up with a nice drive there last time out, and most of those yards came through the air. This defense needs to improve from front to back. The line needs to put more pressure on the quarterback, and the defensive backs need to stick it to these receivers with tighter coverage. Give to the tailback. Brought down at the 27-yard line. A gain of eight on the carry. That makes it second and two. Second and two yards to go. Ball on the 27-yard line. You'll get it again. Taken down at the 39-yard line. He gets another set of downs and, more importantly, opens up a whole host of play-calling possibilities for the coaching staff. From their own 39-yard line, first down. Play action loads, fires deep. No, incomplete. It's really hard to shake this corner. He has great pursuit and reflexes. You'll need to throw the ball perfectly to beat him. From their own 39-yard line, second down. Around the 50-yard line. I credit the quarterback on that pass. He made a great read and delivered a very nice pass for the first down.
First and ten. Drops back on first down. Going right to his tailback. And down he goes. Right around the 32-yard line. Getting him the ball in the passing game creates real havoc for the defense. There aren't many linebackers who can stay with him in coverage, that's for sure. From the 32-yard line, first down. Duke is up a score. McLaurin, the ball carrier. He gets to about the 24-yard line. McLaurin gains around eight yards on the run. That makes it second and two. It's second down, two to go. Ball on the 24-yard line. cheat up when he thought it was a run and it only took a second that moment's hesitation contributed to a nice completion first down on the 11 going in their last trip down here was a success let's see if this one will result in another touchdown McLaurin again Nice run, and he's brought down a five-yard pickup by the halfback on the misdirection. Brings up second and five. Second and five, and this is the ninth play of the current drive. Straight in the middle, and he meets the defense. A couple, maybe three yards on that run. That was the junior linebacker who'll get credit with the tackle there. They put everyone up on the line. He gets another carry. Touchdown, Duke! converts the extra point. Let's take a glance at the drive summary. Nelson Duke is return. lining up to kick this one off. Caught at the eight. Looks like someone was called for holding. Holding on the receiving team. Holding penalties can really First kill shot. momentum. But sometimes if you don't hold, your quarterback can take a pretty good shot. They'll go to work at the 16. and tackle immediately. Shaw comes away with two yards on the carry. The defense calls a timeout. Second down, eight yards to go. Drops back to pass. Pass falls incomplete. Hampton, the intended receiver on the play. Third down. It's third and eight. Ball on the 18. They bring the quarterback down. As a quarterback, you have to be aware of the pass rush. And that's three and out. Nothing going on that series. It's fourth down. They come out in a punt formation. McLaurin is back deep to return the punt. 
Whoa, he just took a licking, and that was excellent punt coverage. I agree, Brad. That was very well defended. A long field didn't bother them the last time out, and that's how they'll set up for this drive. Let's see what they do here. Good field position here. They'll start this drive inside their opponent's territory. Looks for the tight end, but they can't hook up. Ray was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. Second and ten. Ball on the 45. the 34. A nice looking play that time. Well, the defense was blitzing here, and again, great recognition by the quarterback to find the hot receiver. They're calling it audible. Drops back to pass. Throws a strike over the middle. Tackle at the 17. How about the big fellas up front? This line will have to continue to play like that to build the consistency to help this offense be effective. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 17-yard line. The last time they were in the red zone, they got a touchdown out of it. They give to the tailback. Touchdown, Blue Devils! converts the extra point. So we take a moment here, let's check out the drive summary. They line up to kick this one away. From the five-yard line. He gets out to about the 22-yard line. They couldn't get anything going on that last drive. They'll go to work at the 22. Throws a laser across the middle. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. But they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice game. And there was some movement on the line. Start on the offense. Still, Still second, second down. down. It's second down, five to go. Hill set to go to the air. Complete. They'll bring him down at the 30. Maybe three yards that time on the pass. That'll bring up third and two. Third and a couple. Ball on their own 30. They'll give it off here. Nice run, and he's brought down. The offense calls a timeout. Six-yard line. First down. Hill drops back to pass. There's a strike complete. He's down. Nice pass there, and the quarterback was under a lot of pressure from the defense. It's a good completion. They didn't get the first down, but they picked up about seven yards. Hill hasn't thrown a bad one this drive. And they make the stop around the 44-yard line. Impressive game there by the do-it-all back. Going right, intercepted. I'm starting to get the sense that this guy's feeling the pressure, that he has to make something happen. But what he has to realize is he's only making it worse. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 35-yard line. Pass 
pass is tipped away. This guy is mostly used to stop the run, but here he showed that he's not too bad against the pass either. It's second and ten. Ball on the 35. He drops back. This flag came from the umpire, and that means this is probably holding. Holding on the offense. Well, when holding is that obvious, the official most definitely is going to bust you. Second and long coming up here. Ball on the 25-yard line. Incomplete pass. Number 87 was an intended receiver on the play. That'll bring up third and long. It's third and long. Drops back to pass. And they bring him down at the 35-yard line. So what do you think of this receiver after that play? The quarterback made a nice throw, but it was the receiver who made this happen. That's a great way to make a statement. The offense calls a timeout. Sap. He's a little bit slow to get up, but we'll be seeing him back in this game, I think, before too long. He's on the run. Finds his man. First down. Excellent play as the quarterback found his receiver for a big game. Well, give credit here to the receiver for finding that seam and coming up with a nice game for the offense. It's first down from the 11-yard line. Three points. Nelson With only a few ticks left here. on the clock before halftime, I would expect they'll just squib kick this one. Gathered in at the six. He makes it to the 28-yard line. As they head to the locker room, it's been a one-sided affair. The score, Duke 24, NC State nothing. And we're just about set to get things underway here in the second half. Wilson fields it at the 17. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. We've got a first and 10. Ball on their own 29. McLaurin gets it on the counter left. He gets to about the 41-yard line. It's great when a running attack comes through for the first down like this. It makes an offense so much more versatile. It's first and ten. Ball on their own 41. McLaurin will run it again. He fights forward to about the 43. 
McLaurin comes away with about two yards on a little counter play. The defense called the blitz at the right time, and they were able to come after the running back before he went for big yards. around the 48-yard line. That was a good reaction to the blitzing linebacker. That's what you'd like to see out of a young quarterback. This has to ignore the pressure and get the ball out of there on time. First and 10, ball on the 48. Now he tries to buy some time. Tipped away. Number 25 was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. Second and ten to go. Ball on the 48-yard line. They'll keep it on the ground again. Good outside run there. Number 25 on the run. That's a gain of seven on the play. That makes it third and three. Here's third and three. the umpire that threw the flag and generally that's a holding penalty holding on the offense this is a good call by the defensive coordinator he guessed run but when the offense came with it his guys were in position to make the stop looks like they're going to go for it on fourth down forward to about the 36. So that three-yard scamper by the halfback is good for the first down. That's now five carries for him on this drive. He's someone the offense wants to go to when they need yards on the ground. And this play is number eight on the drive. It's first down. They'll go with the option. Oh, man, he took him down hard. More plays like this, and the coaching staff is going to need to change up the blocking scheme. You can't allow the defense to play in your backfield. So it's second and 13, and this is the ninth play of the current drive. Try to change the play. Caught with room to work. Brought down at the 19-yard line. Well, I think this time he knew he was probably going to take a shot, but he hung in until the last moment and delivered a catchable ball. That's exactly what you want to see from your field general. They're in the red zone, where last time they came away with only a field goal. Toss. Nice run to the outside. Four yards there on the toss. That makes it second and six. Second and six coming up here. Ball on the 15-yard line. Here's a throw, and it's almost picked. Unbelievable. He had a pick in the end zone, and it just slipped right through his hands. Wow, he is really kicking himself after that one. Changing the play. He drops back. Catches it. He's immediately tackled behind the line. And they'll lose a yard there. Really? They just had nowhere to go after the catch. So it's fourth down. The field goal attempt will be about a 33-yarder.
Well, that's a tough break for these guys, and we're looking to put three points up on the board. So our count is still Duke 24, NC State nothing. They'll go to work at the 20. First down, 10 yards to go. Tackle at the 22-yard line. Shaw gains about two yards on the run. That makes it second and eight. Second down, eight yards to go. Ball on the 22-yard line. Hill drops to throw. Knocked out of bounds at the 26-yard line. Three, maybe four yards on the pass. You don't have to throw it deep to have success. Any sort of completion can help boost an offense's confidence. With the pass incomplete. That's exactly how they drew it up in the sideline, and now they get the ball back. Fourth down, and they're ready to punt this one away. McLaurin awaiting the return. Calls for the fair catch. They missed a chance at three points on their last drive. Anytime you have a shot at putting points on the board and you don't get it, you get a little frustrated. But this offense is very capable of scoring at any time. They'll start at the 35, first and 10. Give to the tailback. Tackled after a decent pickup. McLaurin gains around six yards on the run. They hit second and four. Ball on the 41. Incomplete pass. Number 25 was the intended receiver on the play. Third down. From their own 41-yard line. Third down. Solid running right there. Getting past the defensive lineman and into the secondary before he could be stopped. From their own 49-yard line, it's first down. Not too many points on the board as we end the third quarter. Our score, Duke 24, North Carolina State nothing. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 49-yard line. Here's a counter to the right. Gains his way to the 43-yard line. About eight yards there. That makes it second and two. It's second down, two to go. Ball on the 43. He throws. It's knocked away, incomplete. He threw that to a guy who was well covered and it almost got intercepted. Yeah, he's very lucky that ball was only tipped. And once again, they'll come to the line, try to convert on third down. He'll get the call again. Brought down at the 42-yard line. And he gets a yard on the run. It's fourth down. The punter comes on the field, getting ready to send one off. Wade is back to punt. He'll try to keep this one out of the end zone. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. 
The offense is looking to be a little bit more successful with this drive as they had to punt the ball away the last time they had it. They'll go to work at the 20. First and 10. Catches it, and he's looking for more. He's taken down around the 29-yard line. He'll get nine yards on the play. That brings up second and one. Second and short. Ball on the 29-yard line. just waiting on it and they attacked. The quarterback should have found somebody else downfield. From their own 30-yard line, third down. Hill steps back to pass, throws out and through his hands. was the intended receiver on the play. Fourth down. It's fourth down. The punt team is on the field looking to kick this one away. Wilson back to return it. And he can't hang on to the ball. And he's shoved out of bounds to the 38-yard line. I know I'd be nervous with 11 guys sprinting down the field at me, but the first job of a return man is to catch the ball. That return man is lucky that his team got the ball back or he would have heard an earful from the coach. Actually, he probably will anyway. McLaurin on the run. He fights forward to about the 40. A yard, maybe two on the carry. That makes it second and eight. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on the 40-yard line. Little handoff. Nice run to the left there. Six-yard pickup. That's a gain of six on the play. That'll bring up third and two. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. Stop short. So it's fourth down. The punt team is on the field looking to kick this one away. Wade to punt. made at the 21 and now we'll see the offense come out onto the field for their next possession they'll go to work at the 21 yard line he drops back now he's scrambling and they get the sack. They showed some real tenacity not giving up on that play. They just kept coming and finally able to bring him down for a loss. He drops back. He's in trouble. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. I think these guys have come to play today. It's tough to go down like that again, but an experienced quarterback like this knows how to come back from such adversity. The offense calls a timeout. Third and long now after the sack. Hill drops to throw. Home run ball in the air. 
The defender had it and then dropped it. Hey, I know he dropped it, but the safety put himself in a position to make a play. That's impressive. It's fourth down. The punter comes on the field, getting ready to send one off. McLaurin takes it at the 49. The defense did a nice job shutting down the offense the last time they had the ball. This drive will start at the 39. First down, 10 yards to go. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Personal foul, face mask on the defense. And the defense gives up some free yards to the offense. Uh, you know, penalties can ruin a team's chances to win if they commit too many. From the 17-yard line, first down. And he has his back He's wide open. Another excellent play. Boy, these guys are getting it done on both ends of the field today. to go in the fourth quarter. The score is Duke 31, NC State nothing. Wade is lined up to kick this one off. From the eight-yard line, he gets out to about the 25-yard line. Their last drive broke down and they punted. What do they have in store this time out? The offense will start at the 25, first and 10. Hill, options out, scooped up by the defense. You love to see your playmakers on defense coming through and creating some breaks, which is exactly what the safety did. They'll go to work at the 26-yard line. It's first and 10. Duke is winning big. Here's the give. Nice run to the outside. McLaurin gains around six yards on the counter play right there. It's second and four. Ball on the 20. And this one's all but wrapped up with the final score. Duke, 31. North Carolina State, nothing. Now it's time to present the Reese's Perfect Play of the Game, which is brought to you by Reese's Peanut Butter Cups, the perfect combination of chocolate and peanut butter. Kirk, what'd you think of this one? Boy, Brad, just an absolutely ugly offensive performance. North Carolina State was completely dominated by this overpowering defense. They couldn't pass, they couldn't run, and most importantly, they couldn't score. Brad, they were simply overmatched. And for McLaurin, his reward for a solid performance is our Player of the Game honor. For Duke, they continue their winning ways at 4-0. And for NC State, they couldn't have imagined a worse start than this as they fall to 0-4.
Thank That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 11. Thanks for being with us. For my partners, Kirk Herbstreet and Aaron Andrews and EA Sports, Brad Nessler saying goodbye.